Hello my friends and welcome to my laboratory. In the last episode, this bad boy had a new record run. Well, after that video, you guys came with a lot of great ideas in the comments. So today I'm putting your ideas into practice. One of the most requested upgrades was to add water cooling. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. But first, let's replace the cylinder sleeve. So I made a relief cut, removed the old cylinder sleeve. As you can tell, this thing had actually three holes. I think I didn't see them properly because the cylinder was covered in that sludge. Anyways, this is our cylinder body. It was already designed with a cooling system in mind. So it has an inlet and an outlet for the coolant. And inside, as you can see, we have a cooling jacket. I have a more in-depth video of the cooling system that I'm gonna link somewhere here. Next up I press fitted another piece of PVC inside the cylinder body. As for the piston I'm gonna reuse the old piston just to see how much life it still has in it. The only thing I did is giving it a fresh o-ring. The next request from the comment is adding oil in the crankcase. This is actually a great suggestion if we want our crankshaft to live long enough to see 10k RPM. I also made sure the bottom of the crank touches the oil so we have a proper layer of oil on all the surfaces that need it. After that I installed the piston, gave the bottom of the cylinder a layer of gasket maker so we don't have any water leakage inside the crankcase. Then I installed the cylinder. Another layer of gasket maker on the head to cylinder contact area to make sure this engine is gonna have proper compression. Then I installed the head, torqued all the bolts to spec and then I installed the water cooling. So the water cooling is installed. We have a 3.7 liter per minute water pump, a 250 millimeter radiator, a water tank and all the hoses going in and out of the engine. Before starting a testing session, I want to show you one of the upgrades I did on the intake side of the engine. As you can tell when it comes to the throttle flap, the air sealing is very low to non-existent. In this case extra air leaks into the engine, so the engine will get more air than fuel, creating a lean mix. Basically a small leak at the throttle can cause big performance problems. And you know we are all about performance here. So I redesigned the intake, as you can tell it looks almost the same. The main difference is that the throttle flap doesn't go all the way through now and we have these o-rings that are gonna make sure we have a proper seal. Anyways, it's time to test this bad boy. In case you wonder what's the background noise, well it's the fuel pump and the water pump. Well, this was more exciting than I planned it to be. The air leakage fixed definitely worked, because the engine really wanted to go. Let's watch it again and keep in mind this engine started first crank. But something definitely popped at the end there. Let's watch it one more time so I can explain to you what actually happened. So the engine started and ran properly, but then this hand decided this time for some wide open throttle baby. So I had another couple of tents of starting the engine, but after that pop the engine evolved into this really complicated smoke machine. So I decided to open the engine to see what actually failed. Usually when there's a lot of smoke involved in an engine failure, the most likely thing would be the rings. So I have my money on the rings. While I remove this intake, could you please go like and subscribe and maybe share this video with a friend who also likes engines. Now let's remove the head to see the damage. The actual head has no damage, so let's go deeper. The cylinder definitely looks brand new. The oil must be doing its job because we don't even have friction marks on this bad boy. 
but when it comes to the piston it was definitely not protected at all as you can tell the ring is completely shut here and i think this was the exact moment the ring failed and let all the compression inside the crankcase and from there around the cylinder and bearings this is what the ring looked like absolutely destroyed and here is the piston i mean again it doesn't even look that bad but this side which is closer to the spark plug is definitely affected but the most shocking part is this the piston pin was very close to giving up that would have been a catastrophic disaster for this engine so i made a metal one by cutting an m10 bolt that had a part with no threads on it there we have it it's basically the same thing but made out of metal before reinstalling the piston let's check for any play in the crankshaft and the connecting rod there is zero play in this assembly pcba definitely did a great job with this crankshaft if you are looking for custom pcbs cnc milling sheet metal fabrication or 3d printing PCBWA has your back, with a wide variety of materials, a wide range of manufacturing capabilities, safe payments and an easy to use website. All you have to do to get a price quote is to drag and drop your files into their website, select the quantity and the material and you get an instant price quote. With fast worldwide delivery, PCBWA helps with your project wherever you are in this world. And during the month of September, they have massive discounts when it comes to FDM 3D printing with TPU flexible filament and a lot of other offers. Make sure to check them out with the link in the video description. Once again, a big thank you to PCBWay for supporting this build. So after installing the ring on the piston, and yes, I'm running this piston one more time. I've installed the piston with the new metal pin and after installing everything else we are ready for another session of testing. I really like these clear hoses, they let you see the flow of the coolant and the state of I it. I think they should add this to regular cars so you can inspect your coolant easily. Anyways, back to testing. Once again a first crank start and after that it turned into a small machine once again. So I decided to open the engine one more time to see what's inside. Once again the cylinder has no scratches, the oil is definitely doing its job. But the piston looks even worse this time. The funny thing is the ring failed in the exact same spot, I'm thinking that was a weaker spot in the piston that let more heat reach the ring. So there we have it guys, your ideas put in practice on this high performance 3D printed engine. If you have any more suggestions, leave them in the comments below and maybe I will do another video like this. As for the next upgrades, I think we reached the limit of what's possible with plastic rings and cylinder. So maybe I'm gonna go metal from here on the internals once again a big thank you to pcba for sponsoring this video i will 100 use their services again thank you for watching guys and see you in the next one